This is the new Patago Trail Tracker. It's actually their fourth edition of this thing, and it's quite a bit different and better than all of the versions I've looked at before, predominantly because the battery pack is now integrated into that down tube. So really improves a balance, you know, and it just, it makes the bike look a lot better if you've got it clean, like we're looking at here, but they still have bosses in the rear on that seat stay all the way down, down near those dropouts. So you could still add a rack and fenders and Pedego dealers can kind of recommend, you know, the versions that they think uh, work best for this bike. But um, I mean, it's just really clean and, and quite a bit, just nicer in that way. I, I like the little sort of angled top tube as well. It makes it easier to step onto. It does only come in this one standard kind of medium size. I love that they've got a seat post suspension here and that paired with these bigger tires uh, creates just some nice cushion on this bike. It's, it's relatively comfortable as far as fat bikes go. It does weigh a little bit more. You know, those tires come in a little bit heavier. This is about 64 pounds. I was weighing it earlier. Uh, the battery pack right here, it's about 8.1 pounds. And actually you can see it better on the other side right there. So it kind of clicks in and then slides out kind of at an angle from the side. So if you wanted to take that off, you'd be reducing the weight significantly that way. And the motor, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. I bet it's six and a half, seven pounds. I wasn't able to get it off, but it's specifically designed for a fat tire bike. And it helps to align the chain more directly to that front sprocket. So you see if, if the motor was narrower, the chain would kind of be angled. This does have a seven speed cassette, Shimano Acera. That's kind of middle of the line, pretty good. Definitely an upgrade from like Shimano Tourney. We've got the oversized SIS index shifter. I like to call this one out, especially on fat bikes because it's so large. You know, if you're wearing gloves because you're in snow or something, you can still interact with this really effectively. It's not these tiny little trigger shifters on the bottom. So I do love that. So we're looking at sort of the matte black right now. And I really like that the wires blend in nicely. Even the light up here, you've got this housing and that is integrated. So that runs right off the main battery. You don't have to worry about, you know, separate cells or something. We've got the wires integrated. They go down here pretty well protected. You can kind of see them in the bottom bracket there uh, coming out to the back. And then there's even, gosh, on this side, a nice little disconnect. So if you do need to take off that rear wheel to do maintenance or something, got a quick disconnect and they've done some some upgrades with the wiring on this. And I think the um, you know, the Ridge Rider is gonna have the same thing where they've wired it in right near the disc brake and it's kind of out of the way. It's not coming in at the side of the axle. So that's a little bit more rugged. It's nice to see Pedego doing that. Still got a nice big oversized kickstand. You don't want a bike like this to fall over and bump anyone or scratch your car. This bike is 32.95. So, you know, not, not too bad. You're getting pretty good power with this. They've got a 500 watt Dapu motor in the back. Dapu is one of the higher quality brands in my opinion. Easy Motion uses them. Uh, they, they just seem to offer more power. So 500 watts is pretty good in my opinion. That's nominal too. So, you know, there's more copper winding, it's more power, but to really, you know, extract that power from the motor or to, to you know, really boost it, you need a battery pack that's great too. So this has 48 volt, 11.6 amp power with Samsung cells, and it's sending that power at 18 amps to the motor. So that's good. These are all really good specs. It's a really healthy system, and you can feel that when you get on. You do want the extra power to move these bigger wheels, to move that extra weight that we were talking about before. I think it's a really good setup, and it's definitely refined from, from what they've had before. Also, one of the things that's changed is, you know, we were talking about the big tires. These are 26 by four, Mission Command, uh, V tire. You know, pr pretty good, pretty standard fat tires right here, but they're pre-slimed. So if you get a puncture or something, you can just add some air and it should hold all right, um, get you home at least. And then the rims on these are a little bit narrower. So these are like three inch rims instead of four inch. And that just kind of, it makes it a little more sleek and kind of looks nice. A um, little bit of an upgrade. It might even be a bit of a weight savings. They don't have the punched out rims here, but uh, still really solid, very sturdy setup going on. Once you get going, you definitely need to stop. So we've got the nice Tektro sort of electric bike specific levers with the little rubber coating integrated bell. I love that because it keeps the cockpit super clean, which this one is. They're mechanical. They pull on these 180 millimeter Avid rotors down here. They've got the kind of the finger quick adjust. So if you feel like your brakes are too sloppy, you can tighten this up and then they get a little bit um, touchier. Love that front and rear. Good to have disc brakes on both for a heavier bike like this. 20 mile per hour top speed on this too. So, you know, you can, you can really have, have a great time with this, whether you're on road or out on the sand and the trail like we are here. I find that, you know, having a bigger tire, even though these are 26 inches, you know, when you add like three or four inches, 
in diameter as well, you know, you're getting up to close to like a 29er size tire and that just gives you a nice rolling momentum and stability. But I noticed that the angle here on the head tube is pretty steep and when you're riding, it's actually fairly agile. So turning is pretty efficient. A couple times I've like braked and I've noticed like, whoa, you know, you, you feel like it, it wants to turn a little bit more than a super relaxed one. So this is actually taking it in the direction of higher performance. Um, neat to see, neat to see Pedigo, a company that started out uh, with like cruisers and stuff making more active designs like this. I like the Welgo pedals. You know, they've got these nice studs and everything. They're pretty solid. Uh, and on a fat bike like this, I, I don't know too many people are gonna get like clip-in designs. So having a good pedal from the start that matches is it's a good thing, getting what you pay for here. Nice uh, bottle cage bosses right here. A lot of electric bikes skip that, but you need water. You wanna be able to bring a pump or just any of those accessories, one of those locks or something. You need to have those bosses or you're gonna have to get some extras. Fairly active saddle. Again, this is this is saying like, hey, this bike is for real. I love that they've got the slap guard and everything. You know, just doing a walk around here. Also, this sort of a bash guard on the front chain ring just keeps it protected. You know, if you hit rocks or something, it also protects your pant leg so it doesn't get snagged and dirty. Love that. Really love that. And the locking grips, you know, kind of rubber. They feel really good. Integrated right into that twist throttle. Good stuff all around. I... Uh, I noticed there wasn't a quick release on the front wheel or the rear wheel and that's one of the things that's kind of nice to have on a fat bike because they're so big you know you want to reduce the weight I already talked about the battery like 8.1 pounds you could take that off and make it lighter for your car but it, sometimes you don't have a lot of space to store or you're trying to get this in your trunk it's nice to take the wheels off without having to bring along a wrench so that's an area for possible improvement from Pedigo but otherwise I'm really liking what I'm I'm seeing here for sure so let's talk about turning it on it's a two-step process. There's a little metal button here and it lights up and everything, so that's nice. It's not too far either, so if you're sitting up here, you can kind of reach down and turn it on. Then you've got to press the power button on the display. Really nice displays. A lot of great features here. So of course it shows your speed, kind of a battery estimator, trip distance. If you press set, it goes to time and odometer, so you've got a couple different readouts there. And then you've got pedal assist levels. This has something called free ride mode, which is like zero. So that just means this is like a cycle computer. There's no throttle, there's no pedal assist, you're just pedaling, that's it. Um, and that's kind of cool, you know? It turns it back into like a bike. You don't have to worry about anything, but you can still uh, get feedback about how fast you're going. You can still use that headlight right there, which again, runs off the main battery pack. I love that. You might be out in the snow or in the forest at night, and you know, the light, it's just fun. It's great to have that. Um, anyway, then you've got pedal assist, one, two, three, four, all the way up to five and on this bike they're all cadence sensing so it's a really nice little cadence sensor right here and i think it has uh, 12 magnets in there just really sleek you can kind of see at the at the base there there's a little protrusion anytime you pedal whether you're pushing hard or not this is not a torque sensor as you pedal it listens it responds so this comes back to like there are five levels of power basically level one saves your battery and stuff but you're doing a lot of the work you get up to level five and it's almost like you're pulling the throttle by pedaling i like that at any point in time in any of those pedal assist levels you can override with the throttle and then up at level six it's the highest level that's throttle only so you don't have to worry about pedaling nothing's going to happen accidentally it's all throttle like you're on a little scooter or something love that good read good setup that way also i love that this display if you hold set and plus for a couple seconds you get this little usb signal and uh, check that out you can plug right in and this is totally where you want your usb port to be in my opinion because it keeps it out of the way of your feet and your legs you're not going to kick it and snag it so love that you could have a gps mounted here you could run it to your head and get some headphones and kind of be rocking out while you're pedaling around uh, that's cool the other cool readouts up here, if you press uh, the set and plus you just press it, you can get a little bit of information about like battery percentage, uh, how many cycles the battery has been through. So, you know, that this their warranty. That's another thing I should mention. It's got a year comprehensive, which is really solid. And then in years two and three, they do sort of a pro rated thing where they'll look at how many cycles you've got on your battery. They'll look at, you know, if, if a component's damaged or something, they'll give you a deal to keep your bike on the road. But that way, you know, people don't you know, take advantage of it either. It's, you know, it's kind of a fair way of handling it. I think that's, that's pretty legit. And all of that's sort of built into this system. So I think that's it. I mean, that's a really good quick overview. Again, to activate backlighting on this and to use the light, you just tap the power button again and it sort of lights up. 
we're looking right into the sun right now so you can't see it too well but yeah it's it's solid I, I like these fat bikes they're tons of fun and this one's really sharp and I love the you know, great customer support they've got a really good dealer network um, across America and even globally all over the world you can you can find Pedigo dealers and including Hawaii <laughs> which is pretty sweet so let's go on a little adventure right here wish me luck okay oh boy oh boy oh yeah making it it's done pretty well on the hills too we've got like a little hill right in front of us no problem doing this one-handed oh and look we're in the dark now you can kind of see the backlighting but uh yeah i'm gonna definitely pop the other camera on and do some frame shots for you <laughs> assist level five here i do notice a little bit of a delay on starting it cuts out pretty quickly and of course we have the integrated motor inhibitor on the brake lever so anytime you pull this it kills the motor immediately um, but yeah you know considering this is a 12 magnet sensor it's not a torque sensor it's just a cadence sensor a little bit of delay a little bit of delay but you know that's where the throttle helps just gets you going right away But you know, those 12 magnets in there, this is cadence only, not torque, it, but it still works pretty well. And in some ways it's nice because you don't have to overexert yourself with your knees and stuff. You can just pedal, the system automatically picks it up just like that. And then, you know, get those higher levels of assist if you need them. Maybe start with the throttle. I do that a lot, just get up to speed. I've had a lot of fun with this bike great to see Pedigo iterating, improving their products and listening to consumer feedback. Uh, I think that's it. That's the Trail Tracker in 2016 V4 for the full ride up on this and other fat bikes. See you back at electricbikereview.com. Ride safe.